is what's important, is that what drives popular culture uh, during periods like this, the thing that drives popular culture mm -hmm. is the resistance of the people. Mm -hmm. Can That was Canfield Drive that mm -hmm. was speaking at mm -hmm. that fucking halftime. Yes. That, that was Canfield Drive. That was the yep. young African yep. workers yep. that were yep. doing that. Yep. Though nobody speaks about mm -hmm. them, they, they'll be forgotten. But mm -hmm. that's the re reason Beyonce has to do this. Yep. That's the reason Jada Pinkett Smith is Absolutely. talking about mm -hmm. how we too dignified as a people. We don't have yes. to do mm -hmm. beg anybody mm -hmm. for anything. It's those mm -hmm. young Africans who, who made that uh, mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. And depending on the period made it necessary. So what I mean by that, if there are periods of, of dormancy yeah. in our struggle where you don't, culture can, popular culture can look anyway, but at the time of rising tides of resistance, mm -hmm. then popular culture has yes. to reflect yes. it if it's going to be popular the culture. culture. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'll get left behind. Yes, exactly. That's so right. in the 1960s, you had Aretha Franklin who was singing Freedom yep. and all yep. this other yep. kind of James stuff. Brown, and then Black after and James Brown, Black is pr I'm Black and I'm Proud. Yeah. And then, of course, after that, you see what Aretha is singing today, mm -hmm. right? When, the, uh, you, know, uh, you know, so wh what I'm saying is that uh, that's the main thing. And some people who are involved in popular culture are stupid enough to actually think they created the movement. Yeah. They mm -hmm. think we are the reason the movement sounded a certain way. Mm -hmm. Gil Scott Heron, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, the, the, what's to call it, the poets, uh, the, last the poets. last poets. Are these are reflections mm -hmm. of struggle. Yeah, but some of them actually think they create the struggle uh, and don't necessarily understand it. It's the resistance of the people mm -hmm, exactly. that define the culture. And exactly. that's what's happened with Beyonce. Yeah. And I don't know where her motives are. Yeah. She may be, may be larcenous. Yeah. She may just be wanting to make more and more money. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's the same thing that makes uh, Bernie Sanders have to say Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. So why the hell shouldn't Beyonce have to say Black Lives Matter? Mm -hmm. So I just think it's real. You know, we should be clear on that. You know, exactly. yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's exactly yeah. What I was saying yeah. when I I made a video about it, and I was saying that because when it came out, the first thing I did was call Javon and Hadosha because yeah. I thought I was tripping because yeah. like. You know, we've seen you answer the question all the time when people say, you know, my son be listening to that rap music, how we yeah. gonna stop that? Yeah. And all the, you know, they talking about beating up each other and mm -hmm. drugs and da, da da and you always say, when the people get revolutionary, the music gonna get revolutionary. Mm -hmm. So as long as you out there doing your work, you mm -hmm. gonna start seeing it. That's right. And I've been seeing you say that yeah. and say it and say yeah. it and saying it. And now, with this, with her video, this performance, mm -hmm. it's, it's in reality. And yeah. it's like, I was literally tripping. That's I was calling you. I said, do you see this shit? You have to watch this. This is crazy. And it's, you can't yeah. just come out and answer the question. You, they have to answer in a militant way because that's where the people to. are at. That's where the you have are. to come out. The white people were like, why is she coming out in Black Panther again? Why is yeah. she coming out looking yeah. like a civil yeah. rights actress? Because yeah. that's not where the people are. The people yeah. are at Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. And if she comes out any other way, yeah. the people are going to attack her. That's yeah. right. And yeah. she has to come out in a militant way. And I was just like, wow, like yeah. we're winning. And, you yeah, know, you're damn right we're winning. Exactly. That's the point. I was, remember I was trying to make that yeah. point when I put Jada, that's what I was saying, let's yeah. do something. There's Jada Smith yeah. saying this, there was yeah. the, the, about the, the and, and uh, what else were we looking at? The, the mural thing and yeah. Jada Pinkett Same Smith power. and all of this, you know, and I said, that's what it is. That's mm -hmm. Canfield Drive speaking through her lips, you know. Yeah. She's living in Hollywood and some neighborhood, wherever rich mm -hmm. Negroes mm -hmm. move to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, but that's Canfield Drive out of Ferguson that's, yeah. that's speaking through her, her lips, lips exactly. right now. And that's the thing that we have to understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uhuru. Yeah. yeah, and most of the nat culturalists and who are engaged in this discussion, they missed the boat yep. on this question, you know, because mm -hmm. they don't see the significance of the masses of the people. They too believe that culture is the defining thing when we understand that it's the material reality that helps determine what the culture is going to look like. Exactly. And that's Canfield Drive that's driving everything yep. right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. I just wonder, yeah.